In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the process for creating a receipt in Genesis Now. So let's go ahead and get started. First and foremost, you're always going to want to access a receipt and create a receipt from inside of a policy. In this example, I'm in a business owner policy. So if we scroll down a little bit, we're going to see an invoice that was done previously and a policy balance owed. Right above it, we're going to see receipts. And to add a new receipt, we're going to click the plus sign. If we're wanting this receipt to be applied towards the balance owed, we're going to select invoice as our payment type. And notice that from the policy level, anytime that you are creating a receipt from policy level, it automatically knows the policy number. So also another reason that you want to do receipts from a policy level as well is because it's going to keep everything separated and streamlined as far as transactions go for each individual policy, especially if your client has more than one policy. You can also indicate the payment method, whether that's cash to agency, check to agency, credit card to agency, check to company, meaning the carrier itself credit card to company or other. So for this example, we'll go ahead and say credit card to agency. I can put in any comments in here if I would like to, whether that's EFT or whatever you would like. Sometimes if you're writing a policy through a broker, the broker will allow you to keep your commission out. So if you wanted to indicate commission just for your records, you could put that in here. This will never actually be visible on the receipt that the client sees. And just for a round number, I'm going to go ahead and select $100 as the amount that's being paid on this receipt. And then from there, I will have the option to indicate that this is paid directly to the company or the carrier, meaning the payment is made you know, directly via the carrier's website or something like that. The money is never actually touching our agency at all we can indicate that that was paid to company and it won't show up as far as check register and things of that nature go if you're utilizing the check register. Also, as you can see here, we can add in other line items if there's more than one. So maybe there's also an agency fee or an installment fee that we're charging perhaps. And notice the default here is that it's paid directly to my agency and notice that you can change this if it's different. And I'm just going to go ahead and say $5 just for a round number. And now from here, we can go ahead and indicate how this is being paid. So for this example, we'll say in person, but you can also indicate paid by phone, other or mailed in. You're going to want to record here the check number or confirmation number if you have one. For another example, if you're making the payment directly from the carrier site, and you're given a confirmation number, you could indicate that here. If there is an email address on file for our client, that will appear here in this email field. We can also put in additional comments here, like maybe we want to put in the next payment date. And then from here, we want to input our amount tendered. So in this example, being paid via credit card. So it would be the exact amount, but just to show you, the client is giving us $110 in cash just for an example. The system will automatically calculate the amount of change due. But since it's a credit card payment, of course, it would be the exact amount for the amount tendered here, the amount of cash that we're taking or the amount of money that we are taking in this case. So then from here, I'm going to go ahead and save my receipt. And then once the receipt is saved, you would be able to void it out if it was created an error or there was some type of mistake on the receipt. You can also email it to our clients, text it to your client, print, print double if you'd like a copy for the client and a copy to retain for your records at your agency. And then also you can see once the receipt is saved, you do have this online credit card button here. 
And just to let you know, Genesis does integrate with Simply Easier Payments and We Signature Payments. If you would like the capability to be linked directly over to one of those platforms for credit card processing right here from in the receipt. So now I'm going to close this out and refresh my screen. So now if we scroll back down, you can see that the receipt is here on file. So we could go back in and open it up if we wanted to look at it again. But also the payment is recorded here and reflected in the policy balance owed on the invoices here. So we hope this will be helpful at your agency. Please let us know if you have any questions.